Hey everybody, it's Lon Seiben. It is possible that the cost of your streaming TV provider could go even higher if broadcasters get their way with the government. We're going to take a look at a developing issue that's out there and how it might impact your monthly cost. Let's get to it. Now, even without government intervention, the cost of streaming television over the internet across most of the major providers has gone up significantly. So I'm going to pick on YouTube TV here, but this is true of Hulu and some of the other services too. YouTube, when it launched their service, was only $35 a month. Now it is $73 a month, and most of that is due to the cost of content. All those channels that you get, YouTube has to pay for on a per subscriber basis. And as those providers raise the price, they in turn raise your subscription to keep everything profitable for them. And so that is why uh, it costs so much more now and why it's very close in some cases to what you might pay on a cable provider. But the one carve out here is that your local ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC affiliates have not been able to negotiate with these streaming providers directly. They instead go through the networks. So for example, if you own an ABC affiliate, you can't negotiate with YouTube TV. ABC does that on your behalf and then pays you what they negotiated. And the broadcasters are now saying, hey, this isn't fair. We should have the right to negotiate with YouTube TV just like we negotiate with a cable provider. Now, I do suggest you check out this article on screen here from cordcuttersnews.com. They've been covering this story for a while now, but it seems like things are really starting to bubble up to the point where we're going to get close to something happening. And right now, the battle lines are being drawn. I'll show you who's on what side in a minute. Uh, and the FCC and Congress are getting a lot of pressure now to change things significantly in the streaming market. And that is what the fight is going to be about. Now, what's interesting about this fight is that broadcasters, on one hand, are asking for more government intervention and regulation for this streaming issue. And on the other hand, they want less regulation for free over-the-air TV. But in both cases, their interests are served by being able to protect their retransmission revenue, which has become a significant part of how they make money. They want to make sure that everybody is paying them a monthly fee to watch their TV networks. And that is why they're trying to lock down your signals to make it harder for you to do it for free. Now, what's at stake here is a definition in the law. There is a term called multi-channel video programming distributor. And under the law, a multi-channel video programming distributor has to negotiate with the local affiliate to carry that channel on a cable system, for example. So my local Comcast company here has to go over to Nexstar, who owns my ABC affiliate, and work out a deal. And this is why in many markets you'll see a local affiliate going off a particular cable network because they couldn't agree on the price. And this is also why your cable bill goes up every couple of months as these new deals get struck and the cost continually goes up. Now, what's different about a streaming provider is that because the law doesn't consider them a cable company and they are essentially a virtual multi-channel video programming distributor, they can actually negotiate with the TV networks themselves. So for example, YouTube only has to make a deal with ABC and then they get all of the ABC affiliates as opposed to having to pay each of them individually. And what the broadcasters want here is for YouTube to have to negotiate with them just like Comcast has to negotiate with them so that they can make more money. Now it's not that ABC doesn't pay the affiliate for carriage, but I think the affiliates think they could make more money by negotiating directly versus having to go through the network. Now, the broadcasters argue that the current law allows the FCC to consider these virtual uh, streaming providers as actual multi-channel video programming distributors. However, the chairwoman of the FCC disagrees with that assessment. And so I think they're going to be fighting a two-front war here. They're going to try to get something changed inside of the FCC's rulemaking process, but they're also really going to be leaning on Congress to do it. And eventually something will probably pan out in their favor, given how much money is involved and how much investment there's going to be in lobbying this issue, both at the regulator and on the congressional side. 
And if you want a taste of what's going on, you can check out uh, this docket here at the FCC, lon.tv slash MVPD fight. It's pretty spicy, actually, watching these volleys going back and forth between the stakeholders. So you can see just how important this is to the broadcasters, and it's one of the key things that broadcasters hope to achieve this year, which is to get the streaming providers labeled essentially the same as a cable provider so that they can negotiate directly and raise your bill in the process. So the battle lines here are the local broadcast owners on one side, and on the other, you have an alliance of the TV networks like ABC, CBS, and others, and the streaming providers. And both sides have launched these astroturfed websites, complete with .org uh, URLs, to try to argue their side of the story here. Now, these websites are not so much for the public. They're really for members of Congress to be looking at and their staff. And I do think the broadcasters have taken a very smart messaging approach here by making this all about local news. Certainly local news will benefit if they have more revenue coming in, but of course this is more than just funding local news, it's about keeping their profit margins in line here. But if you go through the coalitionforlocalnews.org, you'll see that the broadcasters are only talking about local journalism. This is something that's very important to a number of members of Congress, and they were smart to focus their message on that. On the other side, with the network and the streamers here, uh, they also are smart about their messaging and they are focusing on the consumer, having consumer choice and making sure that the costs don't go up too much. And you can also see here the very odd uh, connect collection of, of different organizations that have joined forces here to try to keep things the way they are. Of note, most of the, if not all of the networks actually own local broadcast stations. So for example, NBC is owned by Comcast, who also owns a bunch of local TV stations, including some in my market here. ABC owns stations, Paramount owns stations, and uh, they are also local broadcasters. So this is just such a weird era that we're living in here with a lot of conflicts in the mix here. My prediction is that this will end with either one side or the other winning, or most likely there will be some negotiated settlement where both sides can walk away with something. Unfortunately, we the consumers are the ones who will ultimately pay for it. So one way or the other, your streaming costs will continue to go up and we're going to get to a point where the streaming services aren't any less expensive than cable. And what you will see are people cutting the streaming cord as well and moving over to some other type of entertainment that won't cost them as much. So although the broadcasters are really hell-bent here on protecting these retransmission fees, consumers are sick of paying for them, and eventually this revenue stream is going to run out. So I hope they have plans for how they'll keep things going in the future. That's going to do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Budley, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Steve Green, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.